what's up guys I'm Ravi KK and welcome to another Java Swings video and in this video we are gonna see how to add an image into a JFrame okay so we'll learn more uh, more I mean we'll not just add an image into a JFrame but we'll learn more okay what problems I faced while adding the image and uh, what problems you may face uh, so let's take into example uh, did you ever think of a scenario while adding your image into a JFrame you have taken your JFrame size to 500 by 400 size and if your image is uh, way bigger than that particular JFrame how do you adjust the whole image into a JFrame uh, it's like 500 by 400 JFrame and if the image is like uh, thousand by thousand uh, pixel wide so how do you adjust that image uh, to fit to whatever area in a JFrame okay so let's start off with this video uh, th there are two ways uh, wherein you can uh, give the path in your program uh, the path of the image either you can place the image into any of the package wherever your program resides or you can uh, I mean you can give the path wherever your uh, images like I have placed my images somewhere over here uh, photos okay I have placed my image in my G drive so how do you give a path uh, to your program where your image resides we, we are gonna see both ways of how to add a photo into a JFrame uh, where, uh, doesn't matter it, it uh, locates anywhere in your computer okay so first of all what we'll have to do is we'll have to create an image icon object okay so let's create that image icon icon equals new image icon okay so you have created an object of an image what you'll have to do is inside this you'll have to give the path of that image for now we have placed uh, this image that is my photo.png in our swing package now how do you uh, get the path of that image just right click on that image go to properties and here you will find uh, all files just click on this small uh, button and single click over here and just copy this and close everything and insert double quotation marks uh, just paste that path okay just press ctrl v and there you go here's the path but you you, you may notice that there are two slash uh, placed between each uh, uh, between the addresses where, between the path uh, where the photo resides uh, it's because whenever you just have a single slash it will throw you an error okay now we'll take a label and inside that label we'll place this image okay now let's take a label j label uh, label equals new j label and inside this label just give the object name of the icon that is the path of the uh, image and let's import this import javax.swing.j label and uh, let's try adding this label to our jframe okay so now we'll use a flow layout manager set layout new flow layout okay flow layout okay and uh, just add this label now press shift f6 oops there's an error i guess we'll have to import this jx.awt.flowlayout now press shift f6 and there you go you have a jframe that has uh, the image placed in a jframe but now look at this uh, let me show you my image whenever we open this image now look at this image I have uh, I mean this is my full photo where I am in a stadium and I want this particular uh, photo to be displayed in my jframe okay the photo that you may display in a jframe can be a company logo or it may be a logo of the application that y your client has provided anything our intention is to uh, place that image into a jframe to whatever size you want without reducing the quality and uh, without uh, no problems okay so let's close this image and open our jframe again now I want my photo to be displayed in the jframe in a very good manner like uh, in, in at this area with the same uh, original photo okay now how do you do that you don't need any kind of a photoshop skills and picture editing skills or you don't need any kind of a license software or uh, any kind of software to edit the photos uh, that you want to place in a jframe 
Well, I figured out a website uh, that is uh, pixlr.com wherein you can uh, edit your photos and all but uh, our, the intention of this video is not to learn uh, how to edit photos. We'll just uh, uh, reduce the size of our image without reducing the quality. Okay, now just uh, go to open pixlr editor in advanced mode. Now just click on create a new image and uh, just uh, give the width and height of whatever image size you want i mean the resultant output that your photo uh, should be after editing okay for the for now i'll keep default like uh, 18 800 by 600 i'll click ok and there you go the first thing that uh, you have to do is just go to file and uh, open image and just give the path of the image wherever it is uh, let's say my photo dot png open and uh, we want this uh, size of the photo to be reduced to a smaller size now look at this image uh, it is around 2000 by 1500 uh, pixels okay so now the second step uh, we will do is just go to edit and uh, select all and again go to edit just copy this and right here in the in this previous frame uh, that is untitled you just uh, click over here and go to make sure that it is selected and uh, just go, uh, press paste okay there you go you have the image in our 800 by 600 frame now we want to reduce the size of this image uh, the third step that uh, we'll do is just go to edit and click on free transform okay there it is you have your complete image selected that is you have a small uh, dot over here at at all the corners okay now before reducing the size uh, what you'll have to do is you'll, you'll just have to hold shift key and at the mouse uh, click you, you just drag it inside okay just drag it inside and release your shift and mouse key uh, I mean mouse click just uh, take this image to this corner okay and in the same way just do this way and again take it this way and again now without holding shift key uh, if we if we reduce the size uh, now look at this it gets somewhat uh, distorted okay so it's it is required that you press shift key and at the same time at the mouse click you just can increase the size or decrease the size okay there you go we are I want this sized image now we'll create uh, we'll click aside and uh, yes I want to save the changes and after that you have to crop this image and you can do this by just selecting the image and to wherever you want release your mouse click and just press enter there you go you have the image a crop now we want to save this image go to file I'll go to save and make sure you save this image as a PNG okay untitled.png for now I will not give a name for this and save it wherever you want I'll save this image to my computer just click OK and untitled.png I'll save it there itself and just click save okay there it is your image has been saved now go to this uh, path wherever you have saved just copy this and paste this in your package okay I'll paste this in my package and give change the name of that image from my photo to untitled.png untitled untitled.png and let's run this code shift f6 and there you go you have an image of the size of whatever your frame size is okay. so in that way you can uh, have your company logos or uh, any, any client logo the client provides you and you can place anywhere in your uh, JFrame and to whatever size you want uh, there's no tension of uh, distortion or anything okay uh, so we'll see another way of uh, how to add an image into JFrame in our next video okay as I said I'll teach you all the, both the ways of how to add uh, uh, the image into JFrames. 
both the ways I mean uh, just giving the path of the image like uh, we have placed our image in this package and likewise we can uh, give a path to the image if you have it in your my computer okay so just a uh, single click over here and copy this path and go to your uh, NetBeans and uh, just give a slash slash and uh, give a name of the image untitled T I U N T I T L E D untitled dot P N G. Let's run this code again. Shift F6 and there you go. You have an image in your J frame. Okay, so that's it for today, guys. So I have shown you how to add an image into J frame, how to edit an image. Well, our main focus was on adding the image, not <laughs> the editing of the image. Okay, so we'll see how to add an image into J frame. I mean, J frame form in our next video. Okay. So if you have any doubt, please comment and uh, don't forget to subscribe, give thumbs up. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys.